Hi guys, it's Madeline. I hope you're all doing really well wherever you are and whatever time it is right now. I am super excited today to have this tutorial for you because this is my first ever cardigan and I don't just mean my first tutorial, it's literally the first one I've ever made and I just don't know how I've gone this long without making a cardigan before but that's life sometimes. <laughs> so this cardigan is a really classic but it has a bit of a twist, literally a double crochet twist stitch which um, gives it this nice textured cozy look so I was really pleased with how this stitch came out especially considering how easy it is to do so it also has batwing sleeves so it's very comfy and it's very relaxed and I've done this one in a crop style but you could also make it longer and I am going to explain that during the video so as always that's enough talking and let's get started so we'll start by making the sleeves and actually the steps at the beginning of all of the pieces are going to be the same. We're going to start with a slip knot, and then we're going to do a certain number of rows of ribbing. And we're always going to start off with a chain of 11. So that's 10 chains and then adding one more on the end to make 11. And that is your turning chain, that 11th chain. So once you've got those 11 chains, you can see how long that cuff is going to be. That's the length um, of your ribbing. So you want to skip that very last chain that you made and you want to go into the second one from your hook and put in a single crochet. Now this part is really simple. You are just going to single crochet in each chain all the way to the end of that chain. So you will end up with 10 single crochets in total. Okay, so when you reach the end, you are going to chain one and turn your work, and then we are going to work back along this row. So to start off with, do a normal single crochet, so going under both loops of that first stitch, under that little V there, and put in a single crochet. And now we're going to start doing the ribbing by going into the back loop only. So the back loop only means the loop that's furthest away from you each time. So um, here you can see, I'm just making it really clear which one is that back loop out of the two making the V stitch on top. So just push your crochet hook right through that back loop and put in a normal single crochet. And then you're going to continue down the row, putting a single crochet in the back loop only all the way until that last stitch, which we will do together. So here, I like to do this just to make the ribbing a bit more secure on both ends. I also go under both sides of the V stitch at this end. So normal single crochet under both loops, and then we have finished the second row. So then you're just gonna keep repeating these steps so you're putting a normal single crochet under both loops in the first and the last stitch and single crochets in the back loops only for the rest of the stitches on each row. And this is what it starts to look like after um, a few rows and in total for the medium size I did 36 rows of ribbing and you can see here on my previously finished piece what 36 rows looks like at the bottom of that sleeve. So here are my 36 rows for my sleeve 
And now we are going to start working on the main part of the sleeve. So if you chain one and turn your work 90 degrees, so you're working along the top of the ribbing rows, and we're going to do some increases for this. So what you want to do is firstly work a single crochet into that very first row, so that very last ribbing row that you made before. And I sometimes find it's useful to kind of pull on it a little bit because then you can see where the end of the row is quite clearly. Then we're going to put another single crochet into that same space. So you've put two single crochets, an increase of one, into that first row. Then into the next row, just put in one single crochet. So no increases. And then the next one, you're going to put in two again. So you're alternate increasing. You're putting in two single crochets and then one single crochet the whole way along the rest of the top of this ribbing. So when you finish, you should have 54 stitches along the top, and then you are going to chain two and turn your work. So here is where we start working double crochet stitches. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to put a double crochet into that first stitch, the one directly under the hook. So skipping those two chains and going to the very first stitch. Put in a double crochet and then put in another double crochet. So for the sleeves, we're going to be increasing on this first row. And then once you have your two double crochets in that first stitch, we will start the twisted double crochet stitch. So to do this, you want to skip the next stitch along, so that's the second stitch, and you want to go into that third stitch. So once you've found the right one you want to go into there, go straight through to put in another double crochet. And then, and then you're going to go back to the stitch that you skipped and put in a double crochet in that one. And that is your first twisted double crochet. So then you just keep repeating this along the row. So you skip the next one and go into the one after that, putting a double crochet. Go back to the one that you skipped and put in another double crochet. So if you keep doing that until the end of the row, you're going to have one stitch left over. And that's how you know you've got worked into the right stitches. You have one left over at the end. And in that one, you are going to put in two double crochets. And that is going to mirror the increase you did at the beginning of the row. Okay, so for the next row, you are going to chain two and turn, as you will at the beginning of every single row. And then, this time, we're just going to put one double crochet into that first stitch. So this time you're not going to increase, you're just going to put in one double crochet into that first stitch, and then start doing your twisted double crochet stitch along the row.
So at the end of this row, you're just going to put one double crochet into that final stitch you have remaining. And then you're going to repeat those two rows for the length of your sleeve. So you will do an increase of two double crochets on this next row. So all of your odd numbered rows, so one, three, five, etc., are going to be rows where you increase with two double crochets. And all of your even rows will be um, where you don't increase, you just put in one double crochet at the beginning and end of each row. So I repeated this for 44 rows for a relatively long arm length. Um, it might be worth, um, if you're quite short, making a few less rows, but um, if you like long sleeves, then 44 should probably be a nice and comfy long sleeve for your cardigan. Now we can start working on the back piece. So what I'm not going to do here is show you the ribbing again because the steps are exactly the same as what we just did for the cuff. It's just that you're going to do more rows. So if you need to, just pop back to the very beginning and watch how to do the ribbing again. But for a medium size, I did 69 rows for the back piece. So now we've chained one and turned our work 90 degrees again. And we're going to start working into the top of those ribbing rows again, just like we did for the cuff. But this time we're going to increase slightly differently. So we're going to put single crochets into the first six rows. So this is my third one here on the demo at the moment, if I can find it properly. So that's my third one there. Then we're going to go into the fourth row. We'll go into the fifth row and then the sixth row. And then on the seventh row, we're going to put in an increase. And this will mean that we have eight when we finish this increase. And then we'll go back to doing six single crochets and then an increase again on the seventh. And you'll repeat that um, nine times in total. And then you'll have six left over at the end. So you'll do nine increases and then you'll have six remaining and you will be at the end of your ribbon. And when you've reached the end, you are going to start um, making your double crochet stitches. So chain two and turn. And then you are going to work one double crochet into that first stitch and then start your cross stitch. And the back piece is really simple because it's just a big rectangle. So you don't need to do any increases. Each row, you just put in your one double crochet at the beginning of the row then do your twisted double crochets and then put one double crochet into that last remaining stitch, chain two and turn your work and continue. So this here is me putting in that final double crochet stitch and just showing you the chain two that we always do, turning our work and starting again. So I repeated this for 36 rows, um, which again is relatively tall. So you might just want to adjust if that's a little bit too tall for you or if you want it shorter. But if you want it longer, like a longer length, then um, you could do several more rows. So now we can start the front piece. And again, I'm not going to show you the ribbon steps because they're exactly the same as at the beginning. Instead, I'm just going to tell you that I did 35 rows of ribbing for a medium size. Now we've chained one, we've turned our work, and we are going to work into those top rows. So we're sticking with how we did the back piece. We are going to do six single crochets. So a single crochet into the first six ribbing rows. And then we're going to do an increase on the seventh. So for this front piece, you will end up doing that um, five times. So you'll end up doing five sets of increases and you will have 40 stitches when you finish. Okay, so I have finished this row of single crochets. 
I've put two single crochets into the last one and now I'm going to chain two and turn to start with double crochets. So just like with the back piece we are going to put one double crochet into that first stitch and then we are going to start working twisted double crochets along the rest of the row and when you get to the end of the row you are going to put one double crochet into the um, final stitch to match. So there is that row and here we are putting in that final double crochet using the classic fingernail method which never fails and um, putting in that final double crochet. So you're just going to repeat this row, so no increases, just one double crochet in the start and finish stitches of um, each row for a total of 17 rows. Just bear in mind if you change the length of your back piece you will also need to change the number of repeats you do for the front pieces proportionally so that this part of the front piece matches up with the back piece. So here are my 17 rows and now we are going to start working on the neckline for the front piece. Now we're going to start decreasing to make the neckline. So what you want to do is chain two and turn like normal and then skip that very first um, stitch there and we're going to um, crochet together the next two. So those two that make up your twisted double crochet from the previous row, you're going to skip that first one and work into that second one there. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, but don't pull through the other two, leave them on your hook. Yarn over again, go into that second one there, or third one I suppose, do exactly the same thing. Pull through two, don't pull through all of them. You've got three, you yarn over, you pull through all three. And when you get to the other side, you don't do the decreases, you just put in one double crochet to keep that flat edge. And when you get back to each time that you start on this side, so your neckline side, you do that decrease. So you can see here, that side decreases, the other side stays straight, and you do that in total for 19 rows. Now we have a back piece, one front piece, you know what's coming next make a second body piece and then you're pretty much good to go with putting this cardigan together. So first things first, let's seam together the shoulders because that is the easiest bit to do and it's really satisfying because then it starts to feel like a proper piece of clothing. Um, so what I'm doing here is just counting the total number of stitches I had at the end of finishing that body piece and in total it was 20. So I've counted 20 along on the back piece and I'm lining these up now. What I'm going to do is go into that last um, stitch there and the equivalent length stitch on the back, so the 20th stitch on the back piece and we are going to start seaming together from there. So bring in your yarn and pull through both sides and then just chain one to secure and then we're going to start working along here and we're going to include that yarn tail and just um, work it in as we go. So I like to go back into the same space that we just pulled through and put in a single crochet working in that yarn tail and then you just continue to do the same thing the whole way along. It's incredibly easy. So you go into the next stitch, you find the next stitch on the back and you put in a single crochet and just continue all the way until the end of the shoulder seam. So 
and this is what it looks like from the inside. So what I like to do with this end um, is to just chain two, pull through and cut off that loop. And what you can then do is just tug down um, on those two chains and they form a little knot just to keep it nice and secure when we weave it in later. And if we turn it out right ways, this is what this lovely shoulder seam looks like. And I just think that looks so beautifully neat. I really like the way that seam um, looks at the end. So same thing, but just from the other side. So working right to left, I'm just going to do a single crochet seam on that second shoulder. So shoulders are done. It's time to attach the arms and to sew up the body. So what I've done is I've placed a stitch marker where the sleeves are going to start. And for me, for the numbers that I did, this was in the 14th row up from the, from the ribbing. So that stitch marker is in the 14th row. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right from the end of this ribbing and start putting these two together. So remember this needs to be inside out, so make sure you can see your shoulder seams when you're doing this so you're not adding a seam to the right side of your cardigan. I've done that too many times with too many different projects and I want to spare you the pain of having to redo your seams. So um, pretty much the same as with the shoulder seam, you just work through both sides, pull through, and um, if you're like me, sometimes you end up fighting with them. <laughs> so um, just chain one when you've got that through, and then we're going to work in that yarn tail, putting a single crochet into the same space, and then continuing, oh, it's fighting with me again. Just work your way through both sides and try to work on your patience <laughs> and then continue along the edge of the ribbing, just lining up each of the stitches with the chain on the other side and weaving in that yarn tail. So once the, um, the cuff seam is finished, we're going to work up to that stitch marker working along the sides of the double crochet rows. So I tend to find that two single crochets is about right for each double crochet row. So as you go, just try to be consistent and um, try to make sure it's not pulling or it's not too loose. So you'll kind of feel it as you go along. And I'm just going to pop um, a few stitches into the first few rows so you can see what um, is kind of going on there and um, work your way up to that stitch marker and then we'll continue with working along the sleeves. So we're up to that stitch marker 
and I'm just going to um, work into that as the very last row. So the last row that you're working into is the 14th and I'm going to just pop in a couple more um, stitches before we attach the sleeves. Okay, so now if we grab our sleeve pieces and what we're going to do is attach that and start working along the bottom of the sleeves, creating the seam for the sleeves at the same time. So here I'm just going to find that bottom corner that is the end of uh, the sleeves there and then go straight through with my crochet hook through both sides. Then I'm just going to pull through for a simple slip stitch to connect it all together and then we can start working along making the arm seam. So this is going to be exactly the same principle as when we were working up the side of the body pieces just now putting about two single crochets to each of the rows and then working along the cuff when you reach the end until it's all sewn together. So once you're at the end, I just like to again chain two and pull through and cut off and then pull tight to make that little knot just to make the seams nice and secure and then you can weave away weave in <laughs> weave away you can weave in that yarn tail in through the seam and it will be nice and neat and hidden away in there so what i've done is just added some stitch markers around each side of the sleeve obviously leaving the armhole open to help keep it together as we work around these edges. Okay, so we'll put that hook through both sides in the space right next to where we joined, pull through a new piece of yarn and put in that first chain to secure. And then just like before, we're going to um, work along, joining the two sides together. I zoomed in really close here maybe a little bit too close, but at least you can see what I'm doing. I'm going back into that same space that I just pulled through and putting in that first single crochet, working in the yarn tail at the back, and just keep working along, going into each of those stitches on one side and into the rows on the other side just making sure it stays nice and even as you work around the sleeve. So keep going and I will just meet you when you get to the shoulder seam. So this stitch marker is actually in the shoulder seam and what I'm going to do is keep it really simple, just put in a single crochet one side of the seam and then go into the next stitch there and go into the space right next to the other side of the seam so that just leaves a nice smooth edge going over the seam without too much hassle and just keep working down the other side exactly as you have been and then you will suddenly have a fully attached sleeve so when I get back to here, I quite like to go into the seam below and just put in a couple of slip stitches to secure that seam at the bottom. You can put in one and that will be fine. I've just put in two here for some reason, but it's totally fine. And then what I like to do with these seams is chain two, pull through as before, and pull that to make a little knot before weaving in 
the yarn tail. So just repeat all those steps, turn it right side out, and you have what looks like a cardigan. You are really close to being finished. The sleeves are nice and attached, and we just have the front edging to finish off so that we can put on the buttons. So we're going to start just doing single crochet edging around and we're going to um, work in exactly the same way where we put around two single crochets per each uh, double crochet row. Then we'll work along the neck at the top and work down the other side. So let's get going with that. So I'm just rotating this round so that we're going to be working right to left. So I'm going to start in that bottom corner of the ribbing and pull through a new piece of yarn to work on. Start with that chain one and then we'll start our single crochets. So again, as per normal, going back into that same space and putting in a single crochet and working in your yarn tail. So once you finish the edge of the ribbing, we're going to start in the double crochet rows. Again, approximately two single crochets per row. And what I like to do is just make sure I go under cleanly. So here I'm going um, right under that last double crochet of the row. And then in the next one, I'm going to go under the chain two that was the end of that row. And each time I'm just gonna make sure I go through the same place because it will make the edging look much more, much neater, much more consistent. So just follow the same pattern as you work around and it will look really nice once you've finished the single crochets. Now, when you reach the uh, back of the neck, it's gonna be really easy from here because you are going to work into each of the stitches at the top and just follow that around, continue down the other side to the end of the ribbing and I will meet you on the other side. Okay, so after working round once, you want to mark out where you're going to put your buttons. So I've just evenly spaced mine out, putting one kind of in the center of the ribbing and three more going up, but you can put in as many buttons as you want. And if you had say much bigger buttons, you might only add three. So just mark out with your stitch markers spaces that are gonna be wide enough for your buttons. And then we will start working this next row. So we're going to chain one and turn your work. And then for me, the stitch markers I've placed are where I'm going to put the last stitch before I make the buttonhole. So start working along from that very first stitch at the bottom, putting in single crochets. So I'm going to start off with a total of five single crochets. So I'm taking out that stitch marker and I'm working my fifth single crochet into that stitch. And now I'm going to chain three. And look at where that next stitch marker is. That's the width, the kind of height I want for the buttonhole. I'm gonna slip that one out and I'm going to put my next single crochet into that stitch.
and then I'm going to continue along to the next one. So let's just do the next one together as well. Here I'm going to put in a total of seven single crochets. Then I'm going to chain three and go into that next stitch marker space and repeat again. Then once you're done with the buttonholes, just continue around finishing that uh, single crochet row until you reach the other side. So this is what it looks like when you've got your buttonholes and we are going to do one more row in order to finish this off. So just like with the other side, chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to work single crochets all the way around like normal until you reach that first buttonhole. And I will meet you there just to show you how to finish this row off. Okay, so I'm just going to put in the last single crochet before the chains. So just work into that final one you made on the edge of the buttonhole. And then you're just going to work straight into that chain space and put in a single crochet. And then you're going to put in two more. So you're just replacing the chains with single crochet stitches. So you'll have three in total per buttonhole. And then just make sure you go right into that next single crochet on the other side. So here they are when you are done. And there are your buttonholes all ready for you to finish off at the end here. So because this is on the outside, I just want it to be neater. So I just pull straight through and cut off a nice long yarn tail to weave in and hide within the ribbing. So all that's left is to sew those buttons onto the other side so that you can put your cardigan together. So that is it guys, you are done. You have made your cardigan. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it. And um, to all of you that are already subscribed, thank you so much for your lovely comments. I really love hearing from you. So let me know what you think about this cardigan and if you've enjoyed making it. And if you're new and do want to subscribe, that would be amazing. So have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one.